Hey guys, welcome to Waste Not Wednesday. We go live every Wednesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Time and take things that are cast aside, broken or junk, and we give them new life, sometimes for our house and sometimes for our retail store in Lehigh, Utah, and online at jamierayvintage.com. Do you remember where we got this chair? We had two of them. So I feel like we had four and a bunch of them got ruined. I bought them from somebody. Well, and... So the back was all loose. I know one of them I used as a milking stool with buttercup because yeah. the back came completely I off. I think I bought, I actually think I paid good money for this chair. I think I paid around $20, but no, really? they left on the, they were left on the back porch. They've been left in the barn. They were left in the weather. So they're just not in great shape. This is probably the best one. I, I think this not, is the only one left. I was not a good steward with these chairs, but Redrick needs a new desk chair and it really just needs some glue. And I'm not painting. I'm going to leave it as is because his desk is like a natural medium toned wood. So we're going to get this glued up just because it needs to get done. And if I don't do it on a video, it seems like things never get finished. <laughs> and then tell them about these two lamps that we found. So these lamps, we drove by, they were by the trash can outside. Um, and then I didn't have time to pick them up. And I drove by again later that afternoon. They were still there. Trash had been picked up. No one had taken these. So I went and grabbed them. Um, but they're actually in pretty good shape. They've got metal bases. They work. Um, this one is missing a finial. I'm guessing someone moved on from this style. We're going to paint them and move on too. Can you have that other finial? Yeah, it's so let me show you the topper here. I'm going to go grab some painter's tape to wrap that cord. We are going to do some repairs and I'm going to show you how. These are just resin, little plastic. They've got, they've got the uh, threaded insert, but one of them is missing its top. So I'm going to go ahead and do a mold of this one and then I will forever have a mold so we can have these fun little finial toppers if we have lamps that need them. I don't know if I'm going to take the insert out. I might just drill it and then thread it into the plastic. Um, this is the little metal insert I'm talking about here. You can actually pick these up at a lot of hardware stores. Um, Ace is good. True Value has them a lot. And then also Lowe's has a really good selection of uh, little hardware to repair furniture. All right, I'm just taping these off. So if I tape far enough down, I won't get paint all over the cord here and then um i'm gonna get going priming while zeb shows you how to make a mold today i don't know that the paint finish is going to be super exciting i'm just going to prime and paint these with cottage color but i think today's video the real value in lesson here is in how to recreate missing pieces and this will work whether it's the top of a finial or the mirror or frame or whatever because we do get asked on a regular basis how how do you make missing pieces we're going to show you. Okay. So what I have here, this is two parts. This is amazing mold putty. You can find it at jamierayvintage.com. And it's a little two part like silicone mold situation. And once it cures up, it's food safe and you can cook with it in the oven. Just... We're going to get some texture on these because the lid has not been on tight. So this uh, primer is thicker than usual. Chunky. It's chunky, which is fine. Sometimes we actually add stuff for texture. So this is Salvation Solution Primer in white. You should make sure your lid is on tight. Be better with your products than we are. But this is just going to take this really shiny metal and make our paint adhere to it so well. You guys, I'm super excited right now. My parents, I haven't seen them. The only time I've seen my parents this year has been at a funeral. Just for like a uh, day. Which was, they were busy, we were busy, you know, you see family you haven't seen in forever. So I didn't actually get to spend a ton of time with my parents. Um, and they're coming into town for their 50th anniversary. They're actually coming in Friday. and I'm, I'm headed out. So he'll get lots of quality time with them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, they're going to be here until Monday, but I got to go pick them up from the airport at 2.30. Oh, I thought they were staying until Wednesday. Uh, I think. No, well, they might be might be going to the airport Tuesday. I don't know. All right, so I have two. We'll call this side A, side B. I don't actually know um, which one is which. It says on the thing. Okay, so this is side B. The yellow is side B. But I've got kind of two equal balls is what I did there. And they won't start curing up unless you leave them in the open air for a long time. But they're kind of oily, so probably even not then. But it's a chemical reaction that happens. Um, once you combine the sides and this is going to turn into a uh, flexible solid um, silicone or something something like that it feels like silicone i don't the, actually the nice thing about the salvation solution primer 
is that it's water-based. So I will just wash this off my brush with soap and water. If you've ever used like a shellac or oil-based primer, they're nasty. This one smells a little bit like alcohol, but it is all natural. So you can use it inside the house, no problem. Okay. So looks like that picked up some oils from my hand too. Either way, it's still going to cure up. No more white left. All right. It all turned yellow. I'm going to move this. This feels like it's in your way. And it'll stay pliable for probably 10-ish minutes. And then it really just starts to set up. And normally this primer would lay a lot smoother. It's going to have kind of a linen texture. So I've got to make sure all my brush strokes are going the correct direction because this... Yeah, I didn't do a very good job of shutting that. Okay, let's move this over. Okay, here. so this is the broken one. Leave that one alone. I don't want that one. So I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of flatten this out till it's about quarter inch thick. It can be thinner. And then I'm just gonna mold around the top here. Yeah, the weather is beautiful in Utah right now. It's funny. I looked at the weather. It's going to be colder in California than it is here, although it won't be as cold Not in the night. morning. They don't have the swing we have at night. Yeah. So during the day, though, it'll be warmer here than it is in California. It's going to be like 60 is the high. So Debbie is going to freeze. Like, I bet you she's going to be so cold on Saturday because the highs are in the 60s. Okay. She does not like it cold. And I get cold because I'm not used to humid cold. And it is definitely cooler to me like chills your bones when it's humid and cold all right so i mixed up more than i needed i did that on purpose so that i could have this have like a little stand on the bottom to sit and pour it into trying to get it level and then i'm going to just kind of mush the sides in to make sure that i'm tight against all that detail but not so much that you like make it overly and misshapen Okay. I might even come up with just air over the top. All right. Okay, I'm about it's it's starting to set up, so I'm gonna I'm done messing with it. We'll just leave this little blob of yellow silicone mold putty to cure up right there. It's gonna be 68 and rainy. Oh, that's gonna be delightful at the swap meet. I'm gonna bring my raincoat. And then there's the broken piece. Let's get the chair. We'll start working on the chair while we wait for that to set up. Yeah. Lest, lest you think I'm just leaving and Zeb's parents are coming, they are coming for his dad's 50th mission anniversary like reunion. That's probably the only reason we're getting them because- Because otherwise they just celebrate their 50th his wedding His mission president has already died and the mission president's wife I guess they're both mission presidents together. They both do all the work. Um, she is not doing so great. And so it's probably the last time he'll get to see her and might be the last time they'll all get together. He said probably 30 to 40% of the people he went on his mission with have already passed away. Wow. <laughs> He's not that old. No, my dad's 71. He said a lot of it's just been from like life accidents and things. Yeah. This chair repair is going to be really easy and quick. So it's let me let me zoom in here. It's got these metal. I don't. I think these were added later. I don't think these were part of the original design. But someone tightened the chair up with these. Like I just got to screw this here, and it tightens all of these up. And then it's got two holes in top to to tighten the sides and hold it together there. And I feel like this piece was added too. I don't think this was part of the original um might have even been handmade it's old enough some of the cuts look like they may have been handmade and you can tell here this oh, is turned differently than this leg is turned i forgot i'm gonna have to prime the finials That's so right. definitely not a factory made chair like it's antique and old the lamps aren't that old but this chair is very old so we're gonna see what we can do to Save and it a little i actually love um old antique chairs for desk chairs especially in my kids room because they're smaller in stature and they just don't take up as much space as like a more modern dining chair. They're more like upright, whereas like a lot of the modern chairs have more of a slanted back and a bigger footprint. So these work really well for desks. We actually have another chair in Eliza's room that doesn't match her desk, but that fits under her desk. If you guys watched our video from last Friday, and we're probably going to strip that chair because it has like an 80s crackle finish on it. I didn't do it. Um, and so we'll probably strip that chair 
and it will either paint it black or if we can strip it down to the natural wood, we'll do that. But both the chairs in my kids' rooms for their desks are antique, which is super helpful. Jack will eventually have the desk that used to be in the boys' room. It's kind of like a bar, and he'll just have two bar stools at it. Zeb just has to cut it down to fit his new footprint. A lot of people wanted to see Eliza's room. It's not ready to be seen yet, and we like to keep our – there are kids' bedrooms, and so unless it's all pulled together and we have their permission, I'm not going to, like – show you guys the room like eliza's room still needs a lot of work and she wouldn't want it out there until it's like, like no mom don't do it she doesn't want it out there till it's all pulled together and so while i want to show you what it looks like in her room it's not at that it's not more important to me than her being happy carolyn says dress for cold weather this weekend i just figure i'll just bring my um raincoat and like a sweater and i'll be okay because 60 isn't exactly cold leggings season the problem is nowhere is set up like debbie's shop doesn't have a heater they have space heaters so it's like she's in southern california like the like, coldest it gets there is like 55 in the winter yeah when we were there this <laughs> february she was freezing to death because they had that cold cold winter because they're just not set up for cold weather when do you all leave for California? So I leave tomorrow afternoon. So I'll get to spend a day with Zepp's parents. Um, mm -hmm. And then I leave tomorrow afternoon. I will be there Friday and Saturday. And then Sunday, I'll go to church with Debbie in the morning. And then we'll fly. I fly out Sunday afternoon. So we'll do probably church. She goes at like 8. And then we'll do lunch. And then I'll fly out. Okay. So I'm pulling this whole thing apart because everything, the top and bottom of these Rungs need glued. I wonder if this was like military issue or something because underneath it says spec 23-100. Yeah, they may have they may have like made the seat. Like the seat might have been like something you could get, but these legs are different. Like they're look at look at this leg and look at this leg. Thick here, thin here. Yeah, they're hand turned. Well, just because it was from the military doesn't mean it's not old and yeah. handmade. Just saying, like it's weird that it's got that on there maybe or or like a school or something okay look at these rungs they're all gonna just pop right out of here all right luckily this all has screws in it oops wrong way so i can just tighten these that's helpful on these you don't want to if you've got you screws or it. mechanical fasteners you don't necessarily want to glue there because that's designed to move and flex and okay that one might need some glue because that's just spinning either that or a thicker screw okay and now we glue make sure everybody's good so this is tight bond two wood glue honestly these might have been free floating but the wood has shrunk so much over the years at this point, I'm going to glue them in. Hold on. I got I to gotta respond to Jessica. We're in the middle of oh. buying some land. Hang on. I got to make sure I'm getting <laughs> in the right rungs. Okay. What did she say? That was a lot of laughing. And uh, I can't. You'll have to read it later. <laughs> She's just funny. Um, All right. So this is the top end. <laughs> we didn't get the, they didn't accept our offer on 10 acres. So we're just trying to buy one parcel that's like five acres, which means that'll give us some leftover funds to buy something else or a mini excavator. Don't a worry, mini I'll excavator. get rid of my tractor if I do that. Oh, you will. Trade a payment for a payment. Look at you, you little, you're just so generous with your, with your equipment. I keep telling them like, just keep your tractor and then just rent the mini X when you need it. Actually, I could probably do a lot of the work I need to with my tractor. It's just very small and slow. Did you glue that already? Yep. I feel like it needs more glue in this crap. It's going to get a lot of glue in okay. just a second. Like, this is going in a 12-year-old boy's room. Well, the screws actually will hold it down pretty well. I mean, I feel like it'll survive because it survived all these years. But everybody knows that boys lean back in their chair. At some point, some bug left its mark in one of these holes. Like it's, a turtle? It's like a nest. Oh, I got, I got rid of it earlier. Jackie says, do you have any advice for me in the spring? I'm getting about 20 chickens. Uh, learn how to cook with eggs. Uh, learn how to 
to save your eggs. So either uh, freeze dry or um, you can you can you can hard boil them. Hard you can boil pickle them. You can can eggs. You can lime what lime eggs. I we never do that, but you can. Okay. And yeah, just make sure you have somewhere for them to be. Keep them warm. Twenty in the chickens winter, cool is a lot. Summer. You'll find you give a lot away to neighbors. But the nice thing about having that many chickens is that in the winter, when eggs slows down, like egg production, you typically will still have enough for your family. Um, and we do like our chickens. We don't spray our weeds, uh, so our chickens get all the weeds that we pull. We call it chicken food instead of weeds. They get all the things out of the garden that maybe we didn't get to in time. They eat all of our scrap leftovers. And they just have had so much this summer. We have 20 plus chickens. I'm really not sure I haven't counted them. In uh, we're down to like, every time I count them, I'm like, is it 21 or 20? They move, so it's hard. Well, that, and we've had a few that have taken dives into Buttercup's water. We have a, a giant tall fence, but they still get over it. But anyways, um, what was I saying about the chickens? Oh, we've only had to buy two bags of feed all summer. Yeah. Which has been nice because feed went way up. So it's only cost us about forty dollars. And I've freeze dried three batches of and eggs beside eggs away, everything like... we gave away to the neighbors. So all right, I'm just gonna let okay. this dry, like air dry. I don't really like heat gunning the primer. So maybe I'll put these outside. I'll do that. They'll dry a little faster in the sun, even though it's a little chilly out there this morning. I mowed the lawn at the shop in a sweatshirt and sweatpants, but still not too cold for Birkenstocks. Is it ever too cold for Birkenstocks? I mean, if there's snow. But I, my Birkenstock boots, my new ones, should be delivered today. All right. I'm not doing glue on these either. So sometimes to get a repair on a chair, you just got to pull it apart a little and re-glue everything. And once those are re-glued, I'm putting these fasteners back on there, these screws, but the glue is going to hold this back sturdy. This is just like to hold it if someone like leans back on it from ripping out. Hopefully she understand the let's not do the non-refundable. That was like that double negative. Let's not do it. Oh, did you? I mean, it's not the end of the world. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, the seller wants us to do a non-refundable deposit. Oh, we're no we're, matter what. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing that. We need our other property to close, so I'm not going to give you a non-refundable deposit. Yo. So we'll see how it goes. I always feel like if things are meant to be, they will happen. And if there's too much too many obstacles and a way is not made, then it's not supposed to happen. So I don't stress out about it. It is what it is. Um, let's see. Oh, Grandpa, sure. are you in California right now? She said the humidity wasn't too bad after they got there, but I don't know. Well, I've got. got this off. Someone handmade this little, they probably just got some tin or something. And, That's so cute. And this is the, the clasp that goes over. Cause this has two holes. This was not the original, back that was on this chair so this might be two separate styles of chairs like pieced together oh, okay that's fun i love pieces like this i i love the story they tell i think i i have like mixed feelings with my kids i feel like we have half the kids that love the old stuff but i think some of the like especially my boys are not so much into the antiques so see what happens when they get older harrington likes modern things Whoops. my girls like Eliza's a mixed bag. She doesn't want furniture from Ikea. She loves handmade, but she's not like super antique -y. And Odilia likes all the tchotchkes and all the antiques. And it's funny because their their childhood has just been, even when we were broke as a joke, like everything we've had in our house has been antique because we thrift it. <laughs> we haven't had very much new modern stuff. All right, my clamp fell off the back moving this round. <laughs> Vicky says, do they know who they're working with? I don't know. If they know my real estate agent, she don't put up with nothing either. <laughs> we call her Guido. Like the I mean, if we if our other land sale fell through, we could buy it, but then if we don't sell that other land, we don't I mean, need to buy it. Yeah, like we always are buying some selling the other one and we're just in going from two acres to five acres, technically for zero dollars, because we're taking all of our profit and turning it to buy the five acres, and then we're pulling back our initial principal. 
we just don't want to pay taxes on our profit and we don't want to give up owning land free and clear. I mean, so eventually there will be If we taxes. just keep trading up, then maybe eventually there'll be something fun to have. Okay. Uh, thanks, Joan. She says, everybody click like because only 30 people have hit like so far. Between right. Facebook and YouTube, we're at 424 people right now. So this, I'm, I'm going to put it like this so that it doesn't pop off this time. This is so sturdy compared okay. to what it was. Oh, yeah. You want to grab a wet a paper, damp towel. paper towel? Yeah, I actually already have one right here room. that I use to dry off. I'll do that while you check on your mold. And it's almost my, there. It's almost ready for resin. I think in another couple minutes, my primer should be dry on those lamps too. So, so even just tightening these and re-gluing that, the glue's not even set. This was, when the clamp fell off, it didn't really move. Like it's already pretty solid. And I'm going to go through and tighten all of these, make sure they're tight. I mean, someone's already put them on there, so I may as well tighten them. I love repairs like this. We have four. You should show them. Want to grab one of those chairs? Yeah. So we have four. I'm hoping to buy find four more or maybe six more because I want Deb to build me a bigger table and I want all chairs like this. Someone tightened the base of these chairs up. Wire. With bailing wire. It's my favorite. So I need like it. six more. They did a good job. The chairs are super sturdy. They even drilled through the front here and ran the wire down to pull this rung up. Right. <laughs> like it's a it's a really solid repair though like this chair is so sturdy and it's probably over 100 years old it survived being at our house for a few years we have some really cool big white padded chairs but i would just like all wood chairs because when we redo the flooring it's all gonna be natural wood so i want natural wood chairs and then i want zeb to build me a new dining table and i'm gonna paint it white to offset the natural wood chairs so i'll have it all planned and i'm gonna leave the hutch that we stripped natural wood. So it'll be like a white table, white walls, wood floors, wood chairs, wood hutch. Excited. It might take me two years to find all the things that I want, but it's okay. Not quite cured up. Not quite yet. Okay, I'm going to go grab there. the lamps then. Somebody said they got two chairs they need fixed. <laughs> you need me to bring them? You, you need to bring them by? Oh, they should see <laughs> the laundry list of things that I, needs to fix around here. <laughs> my dad's coming and he's he's uh he's always in project mode let's say that i get it from somewhere right my both my parents um my mom can't really lift over 20 pounds and it's been like that for years she's her back has been not great and so if she lifts over 20 pounds she'll do it right and then she'll have to like lay in bed for a few days to you know get that back straight and not not hurting her again and so we're like all right mom just you know you don't have to you don't have to do all the things but she has a hard time watching so it's hard to keep her from working you guys debbie's new inlay it's right over there and it's on a clock and i can't tell you about the inlay but i can tell you that the clock is painted and so far has farm fresh and kissing booth on it and we're going to maybe add some crinoline and then wax oh, that it. Already dry. That video will go up. They were mostly dry before. That video will go up Saturday when the release happens. And hopefully we'll have an also have a video that goes up tomorrow evening. I'm gonna leave Zeb to edit that because we have to finish this video. We have to pick up his parents. I'd have a Jamie and Zeb video all filmed up and like probably a sixteenth of the way edited. It might just be long. I might just throw it up there. It's like well, the, 50 the minutes thing, of footage. The video that we would put up tomorrow would be doing the fall for the porch yeah. and some thrift flips. I'm just talking to him. There's a reason that channel doesn't have a video up on it this week. Oh, yeah, because we're busy. Anyways, we're excited about the new inlay. I got you a brush. You can paint that one. Oh. So this is Blue Hills. I think this has a little bit of gray skies in it. It's like a mix. Mm, are you sure? Yeah, it's a little grayed out here. It's a little smoky. Yep. And yeah, you'll Blue see Hills that we're, look at the coverage that we're getting because we primed this. If I, we just painted straight up cottage color on this shiny metal, it would be streaky, but this primer has dried. It's very matte and this Blue Hills is sticking to it. And so that's just going to, you could totally paint these without priming them. Right. But it would still take two coats at least. Right. And we're going to do two coats, one with primer, one with paint, maybe a touch up with a paint. Um, and it's just easier once you prime it, just stuff sticks better. So dealer choice on that. It won't take as long for it to cure hard too, because that primer just makes it rock hard underneath. 
I mean, I've only dipped my brush once and I'm pretty much covered here. So you could just buy just the cottage colors and do the same project. But if you have the primer, I say go ahead and use it. And we can distress. Um, if we don't let it dry too hard, the cottage color, we could probably distress back to that white and it'll be cute, cottagey little And wipes. you'll probably, because it's all fresh, you'll you'll get, because you're supposed to let the sealer dry or the primer overnight. dry the primer dry overnight. We, I got to be honest with you, I don't think we've ever done I'm that. I'm like, have we ever done that? I don't know. We've even heat gunned it, which it also recommends to not do. We've also sprayed it. We're, we're here to break all the things and tell you what not to do. There's directions <laughs> on the jar in case you're needing... Or like, oh, I've way. tried that. Don't do it. <laughs> there's the right way. And then there's the Jamie and Zeb way. We get a lot of questions, actually, that like because we've done things the wrong way, we're like, yeah, that's not going to work for you. Oh, I need to stop messing with this paint. Are you dragging it? Yes. I this still one. only dip my brush once. I'm going to go this whole thing with one dip of the brush. That means I could probably paint like 20 lamps. 30 lamps. Pick something on this. How much is a dip? How much paint? How much? What? How, How much is left? I, no, I only dipped my brush once. Oh, <laughs> it's because we primed it. Just makes the paint go on better. There's a hair on this. Shoot. Did I prime a hair into this? Son of a gun. Roll it out. I got it. Gotta roll it's it. my hair. It's long. <laughs> well, we know it's not mine. Could be your arm hair, but not that long. Might be your eyebrow hair. With My that eyebrow thing. hair is getting that. Yeah, it could be that long. <laughs> All right. I, you could put a second coat on these, but I think we're going to go with one and then just distress back the white. So I'm going to take these outside. All right. Lamp now, shades. Are I we, don't know. Like, I, we, I don't really love painting them. I don't think these can be skeleton shades, though. They have like a weird metal insert in here that the shade is holding on. So we could just. Do you want paint. to just paint them? I mean, we can paint them, and if people don't like the way the shine, light shines through it, then they can get their own shades. Well, the light shines through these ones. If it's going to shine through painted, it shines through Yeah, but this. sometimes it, like, you can see the strokes. Oh, the brush strokes? Yeah, so what do you want to do? I'm going to paint it. I mean, they're dirty, so it doesn't I, Yeah, matter. I'm not going to worry about it. It's not like you can make them any worse. I'm going to go set this in okay, the sun, you... too, and maybe that'll help us speed this process up. But I'll what? wait until Jamie gets back. What? I'm going to go set this in the sun. Okay. I'm going to rinse out our brushes and then we'll paint them with cottage color and white linen. And then I'll check comments. Sorry, guys. It's 1030 and we've already got those painted, primed. And the nice thing about cottage colors has a built-in sealer. So once we're done, we're done. Locked myself out and had to walk through the mud. You locked room. yourself out. Sorry. It's all right. We're cruising. We're knocking projects out. About to get three things done in less than an hour. Oh, this well, nice. about three. A set of lamps and a chair. Yeah. Three pieces. Oh, I guess. Yeah. All right. I washed a brush for you. I got one for me. You know why you only had one dip? Because I think you had the bigger brush. It holds more paint. It does hold a ton of paint. If you guys need any primer or cottage color paint, you can pick that up at jamierayvintage.com as well as the putty to make molds and the resin. And we just had, if you missed it, we just had to release the new stencils and decoupage paper. We've been selling we the Christmas use, do you rice want to use paper some like crazy. On here? I mean, we could. Do you want to use a new stencil? We could use a new one. What the Maybe heck? Maybe a little Let's one. Let's do it. Let's do it, I one say. One of those Italian labels that might also be Spanish. We could do <laughs> They are some Spanish ones. I didn't really pay that much attention. Okay. So like, I like the way that one looks. I like, I didn't translate them. That's probably not my best option. I probably should translate everything before I make a stencil. <laughs> it's fine. It could get dicey. What was the Blue Hills you just used? So is Blue Hills mixed with just a little bit of gray skies just to smoky out the Blue Hills? Probably like a tablespoon of gray skies with a whole pint of. Yeah, just a little bit. It's pretty close to Blue just Hills. Blue Hills. I don't know that I'm going to get brush stroke streaks. This is going on really good and smooth on here. Well, it's self-leveling, so that's always nice. I am going to paint around the, the rim, though. Up yeah, there up careful not to get on the gold, though. Well, I got it on the gold. Yeah, it's going to – you can peel that off later if you want. If you really want to get after it and scratch at it, get the razor blade out and peel that off. 
Kelly says she's hoping her order comes today. Did you get your tracking already? They've been pretty good. Uh, Maria was out of town last week, but they've been pretty good about like keeping on top of it. We did. Oh, also, you guys, we just got in a huge order of dough bowls and like French style cutting boards. They just went on the website yesterday. We've been sold out of a lot of our dough bowls. And so we just restocked and we restocked a ton of our jadeite. Um, that took all that, year. Like, I think yeah, you ordered that I in January. Waved, no, I ordered last before the end of last year. I ordered this jadeite. It's handmade in Ohio. Um, which, and some of them are like the, even the old Fenton molds. Caitlin, if you get a chance, would you link the jadeite? Um, and we even have the the salt and pepper shakers that are so popular. And I didn't even get everything I wanted. They just gave me what they could make me. I don't know why or how they got so far behind, but I've been waiting forever for that. So that came in and we're getting all the dough bowls organized. The huge pallet just came in yesterday. The gals at the shop have been amazing. They reorganized upstairs, which is like our staging room and like where we keep extra stuff. So that way they could fit the overstock. We also got a ton of new kitchen supplies in. I noticed we sold a ravioli maker the other day. I'm planning on the making- The kitchen supplies are fun because if you're following the Jamie and Zeb channel, we're cooking with the stuff we harvest from the garden in there a lot. Yeah. And sometimes we randomly just like make bread. <laughs> randomly. I'm planning on making raviolis next week with the ravioli maker. Usually I just buy things that I want to use. Thank you, Caitlin. She dropped a link to the jadeite. FedEx is here. FedEx doesn't come here often. It's a little package. Usually it's what does Amazon. This on the outside. Oh, it's probably my Birkenstocks. Maybe. <gasps> I don't know what it is. Now I kind of want to paint this and go see. <laughs> Birkenstocks unboxing anyone? I have a pair of burgundy ones that I bought like last year, the beginning of that, like. I've had them for, it'll be two years this spring, and I love them, but they didn't have the neutral color that I wanted when I got them, so I ordered them in black. So now I have them in burgundy and black. And I'm not really a shoe hoarder. I have maybe a dozen or so pairs of shoes. I try to keep, it's true. I counted when you put that shelf in. Remember, we thought I was gonna need two shelves and I only have one. In my mind, I'm thinking how many shoes labels you a hoarder, like once you get over like five probably, right? <laughs> <laughs> just gonna paint my lampshade over here a dozen pairs she's like i got my shoe situation under control i only have 12. couple pairs of birkenstocks couple pairs of tennis shoes couple pairs of hiking boots one pair of church shoes and about five or six other miscellaneous pairs of boots because it's dang cold here you gotta be prepared for all the situations so i'm just kind of going over this again all right Oh, there's the same hair that was on my lamp. It's really, hair's really. Is good. yours absorbed? I might, we might have to do two coats. Like this fabric absorbs. Yeah, I'm going to put mine outside. And now I'm going to put mine outside and see what box came. <laughs> Here, take mine too. Mine's that ready. box says Wagoneer. We don't even own a Wagoneer anymore. I don't know. We did have one. Bring it on in. Let's see what you got. That is not. That's not Birkenstocks. Birkenstocks. That sounds like. Machinery. It has the Wagoneer on the front. This is very weird. Like what? Maybe it's like a, hey, thank you for owning a Wagoneer, but they don't know we traded it in. Well, what Wagoneer comes with it? All right. I'm going to take mine out there now. Jamie's going to do an unboxing for you. You got to be kidding me. This must have been all the things that we were supposed to get when we bought oh, it. Oh, the Wagoneer it's, swag. I'll keep it. There's a Wagoneer beanie. We don't even own this car anymore. Is we there a knife there. and a utility <gasps> knife in there? Zeb, that. look. What is that? It's a, uh, a toiletry bag. It says Rustico. I like that leather. It's literally been a year and a half since we bought that car. Why don't you do that over here, though? I'm busy. They got a Wagoneer keychain. We don't even own this car anymore. This is hilarious. When we got the Land Rover, they gave us a coffee table book and a knife. Oh, look. A little. That you is know, the funniest thing. You know, thing. I'm not sad. I'm not sad. Okay, I'm going to tighten up the rest of this while we wait on things to dry for the, uh, the lamps. That's pretty tight. 
handheld wireless speaker waterproof. You can take it anywhere. Oh, oh we could put it on the boat since our boat. Oh my gosh. Is this it, has this has a is it cute? It has a wagoneer on the front of it. Ours Who was, knew? They never even told us this was coming. Ours was white. Maybe they just <laughs> sent it out to everyone that bought one. Anyone that ever owned a Wagoneer? They're like, we meant to have this when we launched, but it was 2020 and uh, COVID. Well, we got it in 2021. Yeah, 2020. 2022, actually, because we bought it last year. Was right. that last year? Yeah. All right. Well, there you go. Now you guys know what they send you a year and a half after you buy a car that you don't even own anymore. <laughs> I got to read the comments on that. Okay, this. That's pretty swank. I was hoping it was my Birkenstocks. Sad for you. Uh, Jan says, don't ever question shoes to a woman. It's a need, not a want. And I feel like 12 is just not a lot. <laughs> uh, and Caitlin linked the jade eye above. Nancy says she got a pair of Ugg boots at the thrift store. I ordered. That's awesome. Find at the thrift store. Oh, camera. How long has this been like it this? It just happened, I think. I ordered Uggs, but not the boots. They're like sleeping bags for your feet, like kind of shoe hiking things. I just hate cold feet. So. Okay. I ordered the, two new pairs of boots. This for chair is all the way done. We're going to leave kind of the old chippy original stained finish on here. And it'll continue to age as Redrick sits on it, but sturdy. It's really sturdy. I'm super Karen excited. says that she touted her shoes a few weeks ago and she has 54 pairs. Karen. Karen. Hey, shoes, <laughs> shoes always fit right. Like, you know, like I, my weight can fluctuate 25, 30 pounds one way or the other, but my shoes always fit. I guess that is the thing. Like, if you're not growing anymore and you still keep buying shoes, I just wear my shoes out. Like, well, and I'm like, I get I get a pair of shoes like this, and I wear them for about six months, and then I rotate them into a work situation because they start looking ratty by then because I wear my shoes hard, uh, and then I get a new pair, and then six months later, that pair becomes the work shoes. <laughs> well, you're a saint. I'm not a saint. I just. I do have some hiking boots that I've had for a long time. Two pairs of Columbia's that All right, I've had. Let's see if there's any questions. I'm a saint. All right, let's get this molded. I think it's ready. Are we ready? Let me go grab that piece. It's got to right, be ready. That's going to go now. grab the mold. Sorry, we it's got sidetracked. It's been like half an hour. Rosie says that's what she does with sneakers. Yeah, I do the same thing with my sneakers. I really only buy like one pair of sneakers a year. And then what I have to do so I don't have too many pairs of shoes is as they wear out, I actually have to get rid of them. And I've started to buy better shoes. Like I've had the same dress shoes since we got the dogs for like two years. I only have one pair. They ate your last dress shoes. They That's ate why my you last got ones. ones. That's why I got new ones. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if we can get this out of here without breaking it apart. I'm going to just kind of break the mold loose. Maybe push up from the bottom because it does have like a ridge. This has got to flex a little. We might have to cut the top just a hair. I've had to do that before. Okay, I'm gonna cut it just a just a smidge. So they asked if you could wash Uggs. I feel like you can wash anything. Like even if you even if they say you can't, you just throw in the washer and let it dry. Okay, so this bevels out to about down there. Okay. I'm gonna do a little cut. A little precision here. It's very stressful. It's not stressful. The cut's okay. You can, it'll, it'll like close on its own. As long as your resin's not leaking out, it'll be fine. This is already really tough. Like I can't even hardly cut this. Okay. Let me show you. All right. Got my little cut in there. Now this can come out and I can demold and this is going to spring back closed while I'm molding it. I'll just do a little tape around here while the resin's in there. And then I can take the tape off and get it out of my mold really easily. But let's pour it and see what we get. Do you want painter shape? Yeah, that would work great. I'm going to go check on our lamps. Those, they should be dry. It's, it's fairly warm out there. 
Oh, I think they're going to need a second coat. We missed a few spots. Oh, yeah. The, well, it was absorbing it like crazy. Sometimes I wear gloves. Sometimes I don't. I'm not the best at my PPE. I'm not going to lie. Um, just try to keep it off your hands. It does get, if you get any on your hands, it doesn't really dry up. It's like a oily, like resin is not natural. It's not, it's not all natural. <laughs> what? You mean plastic's not all natural? Newsflash. Do you drink water? Oh, uh, that would be great. Okay. Side A and side B. Same as with the mold putty. If you're joining late, we made this mold with the amazing mold putty that we carry. We carry this product at jamierayvintage.com if you need it. Or if you're local, we just have it in the shop for you so you can do whatever you want. Kelly says, I always laugh because Zeb uses stuff for tools that her hubby complains that she uses, except the fancy butter knife never used as intended. It's a great screwdriver and paint can opener. It's called a kitchen screwdriver. You tell, know him, what? tell him that. It's a kitchen screwdriver. And it depends on what you pay for. Like we literally don't buy silverware anymore other than at the DI. So it's like 25 cents. Screwdrivers cost more than that. So if I ruin the the uh, kitchen screwdriver, otherwise known as the butter knife, I'm only ruining a 25 cent butter knife as opposed to, you know, spending four bucks on this. We used to have a really nice set um, of silverware. Setting for 12 Lennox silverware that I purchased at Costco for $80 yeah. about 18 years ago. And there's a few pieces left. And I remember my sisters telling me, you're going to lose those. And I was like, where are they going to go? Your kids are going to lose them. No way. My kids, my kids will not do that. Not my and kids. Never, ever. And they never, ever, like they never, ever before. And I have like five pieces less of that 12 piece set. So I had like 12 knives, 12 forks, 12 whatever. And it was a nice heavy duty set. But these days you can buy a 12 piece set of Lennox uh, flatware for $80. This is not a thing. So 25 cents a DI it is. Okay, so I'm going to stir this. When you're stirring your resin, it's going to go cloudy on you. Well, this is the uh, casting resin, the amazing casting resin. Um, and it dries white. There's also amazing clear casting resin, which we also carry. So when you're looking on the website, you know, this sets up quick in about 10 minutes at the most for us. The clear takes 24 the hours. The clear takes 24 hours to set up. But you can also tint it and dye it and stuff like that. We don't carry the tints and dyes. If there was ever a call for it, I we bet could you could use the making them. powder though. We could try. Yeah, we can order them. Like if you guys want to see that, let us know, and I'll see if Ivy could order some. I don't know. I don't really. I just paint all my molds, so I don't know why I would want to dye it. I have dyed this before. Just know because it's going to dry like a white. It kind of like makes everything like a pastel creamy color. <laughs> Debbie wants to know if we'll get to meet Zeb's parents. If they want to be on camera, you might see them in a video or two. We're, They've been in videos in the past. We've already pre-recorded Saturday's live. We did that yesterday. So, and it will go up like a live video. The only way you're going to know it's not a live video is that we're telling you. In all honesty, you'll probably see them on the Jamie and Zeb channel because we might run up to the property and clear a couple trees out while they're here. Um, going to probably be doing some garden stuff because my mom won't be, she's, her garden did not do well this year and she's been watching us and she's like, I'm super jealous of your garden. I'm like, mom, you've grown like a thousand amazing gardens my whole life. Like I learned how to do most of my gardening from you. Like I'm well, sure your garden's she... fine. She's like, I still got a lot of food, but it's like no, all she... gone to weeds. And I didn't like some things didn't turn out at all. The cantaloupe wasn't sweet. She was just so it's... frustrated. Our cantaloupe, <laughs> our watermelon hasn't been great, but our cantaloupe, turned out really sweet. We've really been enjoying that. And it's the first year I've ever grown it. But your mom also had a lot going on this summer. Um, and she basically got a new baby because Zeb's sister Maddie lives with them. And she has a new baby that they watch like three days a week along with a mold, two Quick, I have extra. Go and oh. grab a mold. Oh, I thought you were whispering to the people <laughs> on there. I'm like, what are they going to get you? Just yakking about it. So sometimes life doesn't let you have the garden that you want. Yeah. And even we have a bunch of stuff that we need to take care of in our garden that did that went to waste i mean it all goes to the animals it all goes to the chickens this morning i picked a half a french basket full of cherry tomatoes so i'm hoping 
to get some salsa made today. I also picked some things to make salsa with. So we'll see how that goes. If so, I don't make salsa, I'll just can them. So this, this is not sticking to the silicone, but it's not really leaking out either. I'm just going to do a long enough um, piece of tape that I can wrap it onto itself. Oh, Caitlin, we did paint at the end of the hall this week because we pre-recorded. We got through the hall in a timely manner. And so at the end of the video that's going up on Saturday, you actually see us do some painting and framing. I didn't pour it fast enough. Oh. I stirred. This is how fast it sets up when it's thick. If you pour it thin, it sets up slower. But look at that. While I was sitting there, after I poured it, it set up in my cup because I didn't get it into the mold fast enough. So just when you're using it, you got about a minute to pour it after you get it stirred up. How long do your canned tomatoes stay good for? Oh, wow. Uh, I don't know. We've never... Four or five years. We've, we've never had any last rotate, past a couple of years. Yeah, we rotate through them, so... We've had to dump other canned stuff, mostly when people can stuff for us, because I only can... I only jar up the things that we actually like to eat. When other people can for you, sometimes it's things that you don't normally eat, so you need... Like, they wind up getting tossed. So ours, we usually only have for a couple of years. Like, this year, we're eating the canned tomatoes from last year... And we're still eating up some of the salsa from last year and the pear butter. But I would say by next year, we probably won't have anything from two years ago. So yeah. we, we usually just can. So it lasts us through the winter until our garden starts up again in the spring. And this has really only been the last couple of years because we haven't had a garden any of any worth any talking about for probably 10 years. Well, we prior. rented for nine years. Yeah, we didn't my grow cousin. any gardens at the last house. Um, and she had grass everywhere, so there was like really nowhere to put a garden. We probably could have done a couple yeah, raised beds, some, but they would have been small. I'm trying small. to think. The last time we had it, any kind of garden was when we lived down the street from our last house. So when, like before Eliza was born, and then when Eliza, no, when Harrington, Odelia wasn't even born. When Harrington was little, we grew a huge garden in Tucson. So we probably had about four giant gardens in 22 years of marriage. So it's not like we're professionals. I've, I've gardened my whole life before. But in met, our marriage. Before I ever met you, I gardened my whole life. <laughs> okay. Deb did garden his whole life. I've only ever had four big gardens in our 22 years of marriage. That's it's, why I'm like, it's not that hard because I don't really have that much skill. It just requires watering and feeding. And sometimes nature happens. You can't fix that. So it needs to be in the second coat. Second coat. These are dry enough. Put our resin experiment over there. Let's see if we can get a usable topper out of that. As long as the seal's well and stays sealed, it's good. Yeah, um, as long, basically the seal keeps the outside elements from getting to it. It might taste not great after a few years. It's kind of like when you make uh, refrigerator pickles, they're like, oh, they're good for like six weeks. You could make refrigerator pickles and eat them all winter. They're not bad. They're just getting mushy. They're not as crisp. We did can some pickles though. Um, yeah, we shelf stabled up some pickles. I have them in the pantry. I want to taste, I kind of want to open up a jar next week just to see how they taste. And I might actually can some of the refrigerator pickles that I have so I can get my space back in my fridge. And your mom keeps saying, she's like, you guys need to make a relish. You need to make a relish. You just make pickles and when you're ready for relish, you just chop it up. That is a relish. I thought about making zucchini relish, but there's she literally only so many up, hours in the day, right? So. She just wants to like open the can and eat it. That is true. We did pickle beets for my mother. She's probably got enough pickle beets to last her until we can grow beets next spring. We are planning on putting, we got garlic and onions and potatoes that we will plant this fall. So that way they come up first thing in the spring and get growing. It's the first time we've ever done that. So that'll be new. And we might get some bulbs in the ground. I bought bulbs last year and never put them in the ground. So we'll see what happens. These just look bright on camera. I can't tell from here. Yeah, they definitely needed a second coat. Yeah, so the nice thing about the way we do our Saturday Lives when we pre-record them is we now just upload them as a live. So that way they're live on Facebook as well for the live chat. It really, it's it's better than a premiere because they push it out like a live video. Because when we used to do premieres, sometimes they didn't get the push out. So we didn't get as many viewers. But the way we do it now, it just goes exactly the same. So it frees up. We may wind up doing more like this just because... Sometimes we miss out on things because of the live videos, and this will allow for us to pre-record when we need to and still put them up and make 
make uh, our life happen, make the live videos happen. And it's good. We've thought about doing them maybe a different day, but Saturday really is the least Saturday night is the least busy for us most of the time. Well, we'd have to switch it like mid year when football started, if we did it yeah. on a different day. Jack has games on Tuesday. Eliza cheers on Thursday. Redrick's games are on Saturday. The varsity games that the whole family wants to go to are on Friday. You know, it's like a whole football situation over here. I'm going to go grab the lamps. These are going on. If you're just tuning in and we picked these up on the side of the road, Zeb ignored them and they were still there and he just couldn't leave them by the trash can. So they came home with us. And a set of lamps like this will probably retail for somewhere around $130, depending on how cutesy they are when they're all done. Did we have these in the thrift hall or were they after? Nope, they're not in the thrift hall. So how much are you going to sell these for? Set around $130 for the pair. Oh. Depending on how cute they are. I have high hopes for them, but you never know. You never know. Are you done with that? So I can take it outside. We'll go grab I'm the I'm just links. trying to paint this bottom. Oh, uh, I'm planning on once it's all finished, I'm going to come back in with a little paintbrush and okay. hit the bottom because well, that's here. the easiest way. Let me get that off then because <laughs> you're going to go set that on my concrete outside. Our concrete's already painted. Can you open the door for me? Yes. Sorry, guys. We're going to go off camera for maybe just a second. For half a second. For half a second, he's going to open the door because my hands are full. Okay. Maybe more like five seconds or okay. six. But we're still talking, so that works. Let me grab <laughs> these lamps while I'm out here. Okay. This is looking like it's cured up. Let's see what we've got here. All right. Peel this open. We've got our split split here. Zeb, did we buy some 300 something grit sandpaper? I don't know. I don't know if we did or not. I'm gonna go look in the garage for it. All right, so some stuff happened in my mold. It looks like I didn't mold around tightly, but I feel like that's good enough that I can sand this. So what I should have done when I molded it was squeeze around better, but I'm going to fix, I can fix this. That's easy. <clears throat> oh, this is hers. I didn't miss that much. Some unpainted spots on this one. <laughs> Shh, don't tell her. All right, this is a huge knife for what I'm about to do, but I'm going to do it anyway. Sorry if I'm like all breathy on camera. My nose is kind of plucky, so I'm doing a lot of mouth breathing. I said, so, LOL, Zeb, what happened? Wendy says she's never heard of fall planting of potatoes. I think you can. I thought I read it somewhere. Maybe you're not supposed to. I don't know. I told you I'm not an expert. So what happened is I didn't squeeze the mold good around this little topper. And so it's got some imperfections in the mold. But it's still usable. I just may not use this mold again. It's okay. I didn't use very much. I still have like a ton of this left. Well, I don't even know why we'd use that mold. Again. Well, just in case we needed like another topper for something. Oh. I think it'd be a topper for anything. I mean, it'd probably be cheaper at this point to just go buy two toppers. Mm, I don't know about that. You can get just two little brass tops, I think, at the hardware store because you could buy all the lamp parts. But now we have the match set. I'm just distressing this. Kind of bringing back some of the texture of it, so get an aged effect. My question is, should we do dark wax on this? Mm, maybe. I love a good dark wax on the blues. You know that. I like dark wax in general. Grunge them up a little bit. They've already got the fun texture because that primer was really thick. Get a little bit of the white coming through, a little bit of the black, and then we'll dark wax them. Garlic you can plant in the fall for spring harvest. Uh, somebody, Sandy says you planted beets a month ago. Should be ready end of October. We have beets in the ground too that we planted about a month ago. And I heard that they grow even when it gets super cold. So hopefully that does. Um, 
Yeah, no, no other questions. Liz says new lampshades are expensive. Yeah, and like how I was, will you attach that finial to the lamp? Are you just going to? I'm going to drill a in? hole in it, and then I'm going to thread it in over the the threads here. It'll it, it'll the metal will cut the plastic. Sometimes we work on projects just because we want to save something, not because it's necessarily a, a money saver. We just want to save something, and make it over. But I feel like in the end, it does save money. I mean, if we were to buy these lamps, we're selling them for 120 bucks. That is true. We got them free by someone's trash can. This is really stuck on there, so it's like a little bit more complicated to distress. And I normally only go with the like the brush strokes, but I'm going against it to kind of just sand the high texture of these because they've got texture from that thick primer that I put on there. So it's giving me a fun finish. We're getting there. I'm almost done with mine here and then we can paint this black, seal it. I'm just shaping it a little with the sandpaper because this this resin. I don't think we need to paint up. it black, just paint it white. Okay. And then paint it with the blue. You can almost sand it like wood once it hardens up. Kind of shape it and do what you want with it. So this won't be like a completely smooth finish, but once it's painted and distressed, I think it'll be fine. fine. My paint finish on my lamps isn't completely smooth either. So that's good though. You're gonna dark wax it. Yep, I'm that's going gonna, over here. That's to... gonna be the magic once the dark wax happens. I mean, it's either gonna be magical or not good, but you never know until you try. It already has a built-in sealer, so it shouldn't make it too dirty. Oh, Sherry said it got too hot for her onions. I'm still picking out onions. It got real hot and everything slowed down about August. But, but real it's hot like taking is... off again. Yeah, it wasn't like so hot that like, it wasn't like Phoenix, Arizona hot. We the had, stuff wasn't growing. We had maybe seven or eight days over 100. I kept the gar garden real watered while it was hot like that. I was watering it in the morning and in the evening. Um, and we didn't, it just kept producing. We got our garden in for about, late So too. for about 10 days, I watered for twice a day because it would get wilty in the afternoon because it was so hot. We have yet to get any kind of decent uh, regular size tomato harvest because it, we planted from seed. We planted late and the neighbor has a, a trailer like in front of the tomatoes. So they didn't get as much sun, I think. It just took longer, but it is getting there. And we will, if it gets too cold for them before they turn ripe, we'll just pull the entire plant out bring it inside and let them ripen on the vine and eat them. Last year, we didn't have to buy any tomatoes until almost December. All right, I'm down to like one little bumpy here and one little bumpy. So had I done my mold correctly, I, and I have done this before where like it's really just worked out perfectly. What happens? You didn't do it correctly? No, it's got some imperfections in them in the mold i didn't squeeze hard enough and it didn't take the shape gotcha you could do this entire project and not distress and just prime it and paint it and leave it you do not have to do these extra steps if you're like ew gross i don't like it looking old that's fine nobody nobody will force you to do these extra are you steps. painting these toppers blue yeah I would just prime. Maybe, maybe I'll paint this one white. Yeah, I just prime that one white and then just paint them both blue. Or I don't just think use this is primer. Color. This is just cottage color. It's fine. It'll work. Okay, there's my lamp. They were just plain black before. There actually wasn't anything wrong with them. They're just kind of boring. So this one's done. Oh, they're, I got They're make metal sure. lamps, so they're kind of cool. And now they look more like hand turned with a texture on them, almost like a wood grain because of the thick primer. Do we have a brush with blue on it still? No, I think I washed this. I'm gonna try to bring out some of that white. So I'm just gonna distress over the top of the waxing. So then we'll have the white, the dark, the blue, the black. 
It'll give us a fun little contrast. Okay, before I paint this, I've got the topper here. I think this drill bit here will be the right size to drill my pilot hole. This is 3 16 Okay, yeah, that'll work. There we go. What do you think, Ted? You like it? Yeah, I do. No, it's old. No, it looks good. I'm gonna go check our lamp shades. We'll do the same thing to the other lamp eventually. You want me to move that out of Where'd your way? my piece I painted go? Yeah, you can. You want to sand this one too? I was gonna go check on the lamp shades. Okay. Oh, I moved it over here. Okay. So this drill's pretty easy because it's still not set up all the way. So the lamp shades are still a little wet, so I flipped them around. I'm just going slow because I don't want it to spin out of my hands and I'm holding this tiny little piece. Diana says she has a bushel of corn to do after this live and your mom says hi. I have corn to do. My mom might be at the airport watching. Mm-hmm. We have, a, I don't know if we have a bushel of corn, but we got a Um We had bunch. the equivalent of a bushel of corn when we started. We ate a bunch of it. And we have a bunch in the freezer because we we're going to freeze dry it eventually. So we grew four rows on the back of the garden. We probably got two packs of seeds, hundred or so ears of corn, maybe, maybe more because we gave a bunch, we probably gave 10 to 15 years to my brother. And we gave like four ears to the next door neighbors. We didn't... Um, spray it or anything so someone we had to cut out spots but it was pretty good for not being sprayed all right so that's the perfect size that 3 16 works this is cutting the threads in as i spin it down and that's i mean that's on there and it doesn't look crazy once we paint it and distress it i don't i mean it's going to have some imperfections still but it's the shape you can see that So I feel like it's going to work. I might keep Ooh, that around. Too too scratchy. Too much. Too yeah, much too juice. much. Too much juice. We Do need to get the brush? no. We need to get the Blue Hills brush going anyway because we're going to have to paint these. I didn't want to do that. Yeah, because the plastic's softer than the metal. The metal just cut threads into this plastic, so it's threaded now. And then once it gets fully cured, even if it was fully cured, it probably still cut the threads in. All right, where's that blue color? It'd be the difference between like doing it with a soft wood or a hard wood. Melody says, what a pretty pair of lamps. We're doing them proud. Thank you. Do you need a heat gun for that? Yeah. So you can just move I'm just going to let it air dry. Okay. So if you act like I accidentally distressed it like too hard. So Got I'm just painting over it. It's so fresh. She scratched it instead of distressing it. Well, yeah. So it's fine. It happens. It don't freak out, just paint over it. And we need to use this brush, anyways. You can use this brush to paint the finial. Do you want me to paint it? Yeah, or you want to paint it? No, go ahead. Oh, I need the paint. Oh, I'm <laughs> hogging it. I didn't even know. Do you want me to put this on here and paint it? Yeah, you can. I'll make it easier. I'll just go around it and then I'll put it on and then I can do the top. Where's that other finial? It's right here. It's wet still. Can you oh, okay? You just screw it on like that. Yep. Are those shades dry yet? They were a little wet on the other side. Do you want to go check them? Mm -hmm. I just flipped them. They were facing the sun. I feel like we should just dark wax the finials, not distress them because this one is the resin. I feel like that'll be better. So I just held these up to the sun see if they were streaky. I don't think we're going to get any streakiness or much, if it, any. Where's the other finial, Sidney? It's right there in front of you. The black one? Yeah, it's painted white. Right there. Oh. <laughs> Was a snake, it would have bit me. Yep, would have bit you good.
I'm just going to do uh, the heat gun real quick so that we can stencil them. wrap it up. Well, it's already 1108. I don't think we're going to get to stenciling these. We got to stencil them. Do you have a little stencil in mind? I'll go get one. This needs a second coat. What? Oh, yeah, it's fine. We can do that off camera. People get the idea with that. All right. Well, these are dry then. I'm going to go get a stencil. I think I'm going to get one of the little mini pack ones. Either that or you can get a folk art stencil. Mm, okay. Either or. And then what color do you, and then maybe get like weathered wood or something to stencil them in. Okay, we'll let that dry. I'm going to move these out of the way. Well, that's marinara sauce. I'm not doing that one. Marina you, you don't want marinara sauce lamps? No. Do, 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 do. All right. That one's Santa. Santa. The pig one might be kind of cool on there. They said these are cottagey looking. I do think they're cottagey looking. They turned out pretty good. Nothing crazy. Not every paint finish has to be a masterpiece with 42 layers. I feel like all the stencils are not over here. <clears throat> um, they were right next to it. Oh, you want me back on camera? Yeah. What should I do on camera? We've officially been an hour because this, this screen's messed up. Oh, no. What happened to the one with the, here we go, found it. Cheryl says she's waiting on her cabbage. I've never grown cabbage. Oh, you're gonna do those? I'm just gonna do like small elements on each of the. Oh, okay. Very Swedish. They're gonna be so cottagey. Like how are we gonna be able to stack Do you still want weathered wood for that? I don't know. Did like, you dark wax them and see what they look like dark waxed? What? Those lamps. I did dark wax the one. Oh. The, you can't tell? I don't know if you're going to do those florals, what to do. Like, I don't want to do like multicolored because I feel like that's Should I just do crazy. the Blue Hills? Mm, nope. I think weathered wood. Okay. If it doesn't work, we could always paint over it, right? Yep. What are we making? We're, we're making lamps that we found on the side of the road. I think you moved everything out of the way, though. Did they see the lamps? Uh, yeah, I did. All right, so this is... I moved them out of the way so we could stencil. This is called the Folk Floral. It's all one big sheet. And this is what all the little elements look like. But it's a big sheet. We have a stencil brush out. Oh, I better get one of those. Sorry, I'm just sitting here answering comments. It's fine. Cheryl says, free, love it. If you guys are on Facebook, make sure you share this video out because we pick two people every week that share our stuff. It doesn't matter what it is. We just pick two people from the shares of the week and we send them some happy mail. All right. Your job is to hold that. Lamp. There's still some wet paint on there. You do know that, right? It's a little dampish. It's dampish. This side's dry. Okay. I'll touch up. What do you want me to do? Keep it hold from it. rolling for me. Got it. But you're moving it a lot. <laughs> so what I'm saying is I'm not helpful. <laughs> not if you're going to move it. All right, this is just weathered wood. Dry your brush off. You don't want a ton of excess paint. Your belly's getting away. It's like hitting my... I know. I'm really leaning over this and focusing. Put your focus face on. Mm -hmm. Well, good. I can't watch that. I'm not... It's moving all over the place. I feel like it's going to be messy. It's moving less than you think. What kind of paint do you use on lampshades? I used cottage color. We're stenciling in DIY, which means we'll probably have to come back if we want to and seal these. Although I probably we might won't. just heat set them. I might just set it with a heat gun and walk away. It's not going to go anywhere. <gasps> you guys. All right. So the question remains: Do we do that on all the sides, or do we do? Different. I think we should do, do, we different. do different ones. <clears throat> I think different is fun. Okay. Let's Am see. I helping at all holding it? I'm going to say yes. The answer That's is the right yes. answer. Oh, 
I'm probably only going to do a couple of those because we do need to let this lamp dry. It's getting paint yeah, all, over, get the idea. all over me and all over the stencil. We'll finish it up. I'll put it on this one that's already been dark wax so you get the idea. And then we'll have to finish up our video for Saturday. And then we'll go pick up Zepp's parents from the airport and then film whatever we're going to film for tomorrow's video. I have not packed for California. Do you need to pack? Uh oh, this one shifted a little because it's wet. Charles said the price just went up. Maybe. The cute factor. We'll see what they look like when they're the So that one got a little muddy, but I think it's usable. It's fine. We can, you can even like. It shifted because the it. paint underneath is still wet. It shifted on me. So just know the one that was dry on this, this one that was dry worked really easy. And then this one got a little shifty on me, but it's still good. Like, look, look how cute that lamp's going to be once we do that all the way around. All right, here, put that on here and we'll show them the full effect and then we'll do both that we'll have a matching set we just got a uh dark wax this one is that my my this is, this is the fitting oops got, let me you do, do that. it that was the finial crooked. that was <laughs> made with uh resin yep i think they're cute That's what I love about the folk floral that has all the individual elements because I feel like they really help. You can mix them up on a bunch of things instead of having a layout. All right, show them the twisted around. All right, guys, if you need these paint products, stencils, or eventually these lamps, they'll be available at jamierayvintage.com. Zeb's going to grab the chair to show you Redrick's chair that we glued up and saved. This was um, at the beginning of the video if you joined late. Yep, we're not painting it. We're just going to leave it as is. Um, and if you like this video, be sure to hit that share button, give us a thumbs up, and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. We'll see you on the next episode. Bye, guys.